So let's have a look at the Alt Tab Studio add-on. It's an add-on that just kind of like helps optimize Blender a little bit more. Now that here we've got a project that I was working on a while back on a live stream. And if you want to catch me on live stream, oi, subscribe. But first things first, we have the lighting preset. So let's go ahead and select the object where I want the light to focus on. I'm just going to make it the floor, click append. And then we go, it's brought in some light settings. Very beautiful setting. If we select here, we've got a wide selection. Let's come up to the top here and disable this lighting setup. Let's go ahead and hit append and bring in a new one, GZ. Obviously with this empty here as well, we can kind of rotate it around how we want to. Let's throw in another one. And that's given us some really nice results. I actually do like this. However, if you want something a little bit different, you don't know what you actually want. I can just go add random light and it's gonna go ahead and just start adding in random lights and just click on a whole bunch of them. And there we go. You can kind of just see how we're adding in various colors of lights very quickly into the scene. And it all kind of depends how you want to do it. Now, in saying that, there is a quick menu option. If I press D, I get decal machine. So I actually had to remap the button. I've got it middle mouse four. With the light selected, it brings up my menu specifically for that light. So I can actually change it. So if we want to pump it up extra lighting, we can do it all in here. Same works with the camera. There we go. We can change the resolution all in here without having to flick around the side menu here. Uh, it does work for objects as well. We've got a whole bunch of properties. It does bring in the Botanic Quick Access as well, which is another part of it. We're not really going to be looking at that one today. The other cool thing is I can select an object, quick menu, and then go quick view shader editor, and it's going to bring up that editor box thingamabob. Let's now jump over into materials. And you can see here we've got a list of all the materials used in the scene. Now I'm just going to purge all unused data blocks. We can see that there are three materials we're not using. Nope, that was a uh, data blocks and something else. Looks like I'm using all my materials. But the really cool thing is here, for instance, I don't like this white light. I want to get rid of that one. I can actually come up into swap materials. My original, I know that it's a white light. I want to change it to the red light. All objects, please. Okay. And now you can see that it's swapped our white light for a red light. With this here, we can see that I've got red light, red light. Uh, we've got a nice orange light. I want to change now these red lights to the orange light. We can go swap materials, uh, red light, and we can go to orange light and go OK on all objects. There we go. And now it's applied that. How that? Mm, that's pretty cool. Now let's go purge all unused data blocks. One material. Get out of here. So that's improved the workflow of materials dramatically. Now the camera stuff, if I select my camera, we got a whole bunch of stuff settings up here as well. We got a whole bunch of presets on camera paths, so on and so forth. This bit down here is pretty sweet. If I go 500 GZZ, I'm just going to bring that out. I can now go record and move around with WASD. Why am I in rendered view doing this? Stop that Marco into solid mode. Let's go record and I'm going to press W to move forward. I can go middle mouse to go faster. And then double click to end that recording. So if I press play, you can kind of see how janky it is. But for those of you who are more perceptive, smooth animation. So let's make sure we've got our camera selected. We can see our keyframes down the bottom. Smooth animation, please. Now, when we go press play, we can see that that a lot of that jitteriness is gone. So that's kind of cool. And we kind of just slap that together. Now the utilities here will show us the total time that we're actually in the project. Um, I pretty much just opened it up. But if we come in and have a look at this one, yeah, we've been here for a while. It can track the clicks. Oh, what? Ah. Oh. <laughs> That's kind of cool. Oh my goodness, how handy is this going to be on live stream? Uh, so this was last Sunday's live stream, what we were working on, just uh, just an FYI. So uh, once again, if you're not subscribed, we do also have the ability to kind of clean up the scene here. So as you can see here, I've just been slapping stuff together. However, if I want to go clean up scene, it'll put all my empties in one spot, my lights in one spot, my meshes one spot, but I have lost a little bit of the characterization, characterization, collection information, but that's 
you know, how you want to do it. Another cool little feature, which I think is going to be good, is I can select this image. I can go store selection, blah, 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 and go and work away, da, 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 deselect everything, and then recall selection, and it'll pick up what that previous selection was. That's cool. Anyway, link in the description.